Morning guys, uh, Who Man from Bixby. We're out here at Mission Bay with Kevin Nakata, um, who's gonna be working with us to uh, to inform the world about the Bixby Jets. Uh, we've got three kayaks out here today, two uh, Hobie Compass kayaks, and we've got a Pro Angler. And uh, we're basically gonna walk you guys through uh, with the various setups we got on these kayaks, with motors and batteries, and we're gonna show you how you can, uh, you can have a better experience out there with your Bixby products. Um, please don't make any comments about the Smurf uh, blue thing, <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll get started. Um, so here on this compass, we've got our Mirage Drive adapter. You remember this Mirage Drive fits into a variety of other kayaks. So you got uh, the X-Drive on the Vibe kayaks, the Pelicans, uh, basically any kayak that has the, the pedal drives. It also does fit the inflatables, the Clips, the Lynx, uh, and all of those other kayaks as well. Um, we do have this running up to our battery that's sitting up here. That's the PP378, 378 uh, watt hours of battery. Runs the motor for about an, just over an hour at full speed, up to about 10 to 12 hours at trolling speed. Uh, also notice that we do have a reduced trout on these motors. So that allows you to clip in into the, to the, uh, into the well of the Mirage Drive a little bit better. Uh, we'll do a little clip in later and um, you'll see how that clips in there. We have our remote control and our kill switch, of course, that you want to wear on yourself at all times in case you fall off your kayak. We're going to move over to the other compass now where we've got our power pole adapter. And we can't release that completely. And this is the new version of our power pole adapter. And you'll notice a couple of things with the new version. First of all, we've got this wing going up a little bit. So now the motor really comes out of the water and flush with the kayak. So it's not dragging. And we also have um, sort of gnarled thumb screws. We can't use on this version, unfortunately, because the Hobies, the compass and the Pro Angler need this extra plate from Hobie to get your power pole on there. Um, on any other kayak like the Outback or the Vibes or, or a lot of the kayaks that already have those um, inserts in them, you don't need these plates. These plates are extra for the compass specifically and it does force you to actually um, screw the power pole plate to the plate before you put it on. So it sort of limits us in a little bit in terms of removal and, and so on, but it is a good way to get the motor on these uh, compasses. We're also gonna do a little comparison out there to show what's better to have it on the back or in the Mirage Drive. So there are advantages to both and disadvantages to both. So we'll cover that as well. Last but not least, we've got our Pro Angler here. Same setup as the compass there. Uh, we've got the plate from Hobie, our power pole attached to that plate and it runs down, we've got it down here, clipped in so if you release it, We're hitting ground obviously when we're water that will go on the ground now this is adjustable so that motor will go up and down if you need it to you gotta uh, unscrew those two bolts and uh, you can lower your motor or bring it up if you need to adjust it accordingly for your kayak uh, also notice that if you do want to turn this motor um, you know the, the pro angler has got a really nice uh, rudder so we don't really need any steering with this but if you do want to turn this motor all you have to do is take that pin out and you can use one of our steering systems and allow yourself to steer that motor as well. All right, so that is our motor set up. I'm gonna show you guys a couple other quick things. This comes up here. And again, your motor is running to the battery back here. You've got a remote, you've got a kill switch. We do have extension cords if you wanna get that battery under your seat or if you wanna get into the front well. Whatever you do, you gotta make sure that kill switch reaches you so you can be safe on the water. If you do fall off, then you don't have to worry about uh, your kayak taking off on you. Uh, now we're gonna go over here. We've got a quick little setup here. We got our solar panel. Okay, this is a 45 watt hour, uh, 45 watt uh, solar panel. It is going to our PP166 in here. Okay. That's charging our little battery. This battery does not run the motor. Please keep that in mind. This is an iron phosphate, uh, 166 watt hour uh, battery. Uh, it puts out 12 volts or five volts, depending on what you connect to the front of it here. And it can charge and run stuff simultaneously with the solar panel. So it's charging as you can see right now, because we've got our solar panel out. 
and it's also right now running that GoPro or it's charging that GoPro and uh, we'll run our fish finders and stuff with the same same battery we're gonna get that panel up here okay so if you want to run your fish finder your lights your cameras your phones your tablets whatever you want to do that PP166 is perfect today I want to show you another product we've just released it is the PP77 so if you own a Hobie live well or any any live well that runs a six volt battery I'm sure you're frustrated sick and tired of those lead acid batteries that were made in 1859 so we now have a 77 watt hour 12 amp hour 6 volt battery to replace those lead acid batteries uh, this will run your live well for about 23 hours non-stop full power has a 10 year sh uh, shelf life because it is a, a iron phosphate battery and um, yeah you can do that you can do 3,000 uh, charge cycles on this so no more having to throw those batteries out every year or two uh, you can keep this battery for years and years and years and it'll run uh, your, your uh, live well uh, it is uh, fully waterproof and submersible uh, I think it's rated for about 100 feet um, I mean not that you do 100 feet at that point the fish don't need your live well they'll be fine uh, but uh, it is fully fully waterproof it fits right into the same place your lead acid battery typically fits into and you can still close your lid the same way you would before or if you want to show off that anodized aluminum body you can just leave that like that and it'll stay there so that's it guys that's the lineup of our products we're going to go out there have some fun we're going to take some pictures and videos and we'll see you guys later <laughs>